Hello YouTube and welcome diecast family. Got a ton of diecast cars to open up. Got a huge haul video I gotta make from the past couple months. So uh, we're just gonna crack open a bunch of these matchbox today. Well, we're gonna start out with this 2021 Ford Bronco. Awesome detail on it. We got a Hot Wheels Bugatti here. Not sure how that got thrown in there, but we're going to go ahead and crack this one open. 94 Bugatti EB110. And then the rest of them are Matchbox. So. Pretty nice detail. Not my favorite favorite looking supercar but definitely a pretty cool supercar uh, it was the fastest car in the world for one year until mclaren came out with the p1 or the f1 p1 whatever was the first one then that was the fastest car in the world until bugatti veyron came out so next we have the 2020 corvette Pretty cool casting, but I think every die cast company has done a done one, and uh, there's a ton of variations of it out, both from Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and uh, pretty sure Mini GT did it. I'm pretty sure Auto World did it. I know Greenlight did it. So. Not sure if M2 did it. I uh, comment down below if uh, M2 did the new C8 or not. Then we have a McLaren 720 Spider. Pretty cool, like neon yellow color. We have a 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. Love how Matchbox always does good tail light detail and headlight detail. Next one, we have a 2021 Ford Bronco in the National Parks. If you don't know, then uh, the Matchbox National Parks are always worth picking up, especially if you see them in a five-pack or something. Uh, they seem to get, uh, like, really desirable, hard to find. Uh, some of these old national parks go for like 45, 55, 85 bucks. So, uh, but they all seem to go up in price and sell out. A lot of people must collect the national parks. Something I wish I would have started collecting a long time ago and not something I would go back and try and get all of them because there are some of them that are really hard to get. I think there's a national parks bulldozer they came out in like a five pack or something. It's or maybe a ten pack, but it's it's like impossible to find. So, but really cool Ford Bronco. So we got two Ford Broncos from Matchbox. Got the blue civilian and then the National Parks. So pretty cool. I have two variations of that. You don't usually get too many variations with Matchbox. They only release one color variation a year of a casting, so you got to wait until the following year, see if they release a different variation. But we got a 95 Nissan hard body, 
D21. This is one I could definitely see going up in value, being a $20, $25 truck in a couple years. Really cool factory looking paint scheme. Got some stuff in the bed here. Looks like a chain and a tire. I picked up another National Parks uh, Plowmaster. Pretty cool. I think all my ma Matchbox uh, National Parks will all go in the same jammer together. So it'd be cool to get a jammer full of them. Kind of like that off green color. Then we have a Subaru SVX. Nice metallic black paint job it looks like. Came with the roof scuffed up. It doesn't wipe off. But definitely nice metallic paint on there. And then we got a 1969 BMW. I don't know why it says 69 BMW 2002. Is that the model of it? I don't know. Comment down below if you know. And then, of course, I had to pick this one up for the Burgundy Car Collection. So we got the Toyota 4Runner in Burgundy. Pretty awesome little die-cast car here. Someday I'll have to get out the whole Burgundy. Oh, the Burgundy Car Collection kind of found its way into some jammers. I mean, I do have some up on the wall, of course. Over there. And there. And there, that's all burgundy. So all three of them are burgundy. They're like my premiums. Those are all ultra reds. And then I got my burgundy supers up there in the Hot Wheels thing display. So uh, I do have my burgundy cars. Some of them out, the rest of them are in jammers. I know I used to have them all displayed. A lot of people started following me back then when I used to have my whole burgundy car collection out and displayed. But pretty cool. If you don't know, then burgundy was my favorite color die cast. So I think I have over a thousand burgundy cars. Pretty nuts. It seems like Hot Wheels always releases a burgundy car. Uh, and like every car they release, uh, they release a burgundy variation eventually. Matchbox releases a bunch. But like always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and have an awesome day.